Good morning everybody, it is morning number three. It is cold, um, everyone's pretty happy but, but Josh, you mind if I tell the camera what's been going on? Go. I, have, I have no footage of sound so I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Josh, um, after having a horrendous day two towards the end of a new death experience, we got back to the, um, to the bungalow and we're all checking our footage and talking about it. And Josh, the poor bugger, has realised for two days his GoPros have just not recorded any audio. Pretty much, just like a... So he's gutted, um, and then all his batteries keep dying for some reason. It's like someone dropped a... What's it called? A, EMP. An EMP in his kit. Um, and then we've come out here to do a warm-up to check out oil, and it looks like he's got a bit of white sludge in there, so we've got to start the morning with an oil change. The bike's running like a dream, though. You wouldn't have, <laughs> you wouldn't have known. So um, anyway, it's it's going to be a, a rough old morning, but we'll get going. So we've just dumped Josh's oil, and to be honest, this looks about as good as when my oil comes out after a thousand kilometres. Um, so it doesn't appear to be any water in there. So what we suspect has happened: the carby sucked some in, shut the bike down. The little bit of water that was there has bubbled up and probably just evaporated out of the system. So we're still going to drop in two bottles of oil, but we're going to keep that oil because we've got these bottles just as a, you know, backup. We do have a few more river crossings to go, but I think that's good for Josh because ideally his bike's obviously running fine then and um, it wasn't really much to concern ourselves with. But very, very weird, that's for sure. Very weird. The dirt roads have started for day three. Um, I'm sitting at the back of the pack because it's just really, really dusty on these type of roads. I'm just taking my time trying to avoid the dust. But beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, our goal today is to all get up Billy Goat Bluff as a group. Um, but after that, Josh, JB and I are going to continue on as a duo. And Josh, Osmodo and Harrison are going to go back down Billy Goat Bluff and do our route in reverse because those guys live at Melbourne and um, they want to finish near their house because our trip has gotten away from us and then Josh JB and I we can't follow them because then that puts us further from our car should our trip get away from us so and it is what it is um, we've all talked about it I think that's the best way forward but goal number one Billy Goat Bluff and we have heard it's in pretty bad condition, so be pretty keen to see what that is all about. Getting close to Billy Goat. A little bridge here, a mini McKillops bridge. Nice little spot. That's the crossing I was talking about yesterday. Oh, it just there? Yeah. Ah, oh, a piece of piss. Nah, Josh was the same as a crossing down here, which I never knew about. Yeah. Are you gonna go do it or? I might on the way back. Yeah. Okay. I'm all hot and sweaty after Billy Goat. Yeah, yeah. There's Billy Goat Bluff. You can just see it, the start of it anyway. I've done it once before. I had no dramas, but I know it was in good condition, so no doubt. Oh, better watch where I'm going. No doubt this time around it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Well, we've started Billy Gate Bluff and now we'll just see how we go. Um, some of the boys were a bit apprehensive. I'm like, you'll be fine. It's just a hill in the bush. Josh she's definitely washed out oh yeah this is concerning we've just started and this four-wheel drive let us go ahead but Josh hasn't come yet. Is he coming or? Yeah, he's sort of, he's got his helmet off, but he's sort of, he's got his bike up. Oh, he had a fall, did he? Yeah, he's come back to the slide. I think he'd have to go back. 
Do so you reckon he's coming though? How far down? Oh, so just see. Oh, okay, I'll wait a bit longer. I'll look. Thanks, mate. Sure, thank you. We're only about a kilometer in. Let's see what's going on. Thanks, mate. Yeah, 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 just me. Thank you. There he is. Oh, I hate going down these hills. What's going on, bro? Oh, no good? So I'm now going to follow Josh just in case he um, doesn't get up certain sections. It's easier for me to walk up then. Then to keep riding down, um, just to help him out, just till he gets his confidence up. He's got so much skill, this bloke, but once our confidence goes, it makes life hard. There you go, Josh. It's so good watching someone just killing it, eh? Going through the ups and downs of adventure riding, but ultimately, just getting it done. That's it, Josh. Good work. Oh, easy, mate. Come on, Sally. Come on, Josh, that's it. Yeah, his bike's got the Technic suspension, eating it up. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm Sally. It's really hard to film each other on this. Um, I've been trying to film everyone the best I can, but it really doesn't work that easy if you're not prepared to drop it yourself and go on someone else's route or whatnot. But Sally's really, to be honest, just eating this train up. Her big ball kit, it has so much power. It's just a privilege to ride. A privilege. Go, okay, Josh, keep going, keep going. That's it, mate. Power up there. I knew he had it in him. Look at him go. 
Beautiful work. Ooh, ooh, right up the guts. No good? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I reckon the hardest is behind us, bro. Oh, what's happened here? You alright? Yeah. What happened? Oh, I went off mine and got stuck here trying to go again and lost it. Yeah, you're in some pretty loose stuff there, eh? You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. I just get so tired, so quick. You gonna get going from there? Huh? You gonna get going from there? Right. Try and hug your left side here, though. Come on. Ah, oh, no. I should have stayed over there. Ah. On you, Sally. Josh from Osmoto. First ever time Billy Goat has been hanging out for it. Oh, go. Oh, go, go, go. Keep going. Yes, you've got it, bro. I get so excited for people making things like this. Probably more excited for them than myself. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Arms are gone. I what? couldn't hold on. Are you? Literally just cramping. That's why I couldn't go there. I was so good. Well, stay, hang on, stay there, because you might crash into... Hang on, I'll come help you. No, no, I'm, I'm good, I can take off, man. Go, Josh, go. Hang on. Go, Josh, go. Go, 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 throttle. Oh. <laughs> go, go, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yes. Now, do you want a little hand out of that tree? My arm shut off. I don't know what you decided to do with this parking job, but like you only had to go two more meters, I mate. My, honestly, I'm like just fight it, just fight it. Yeah. Um, oh, you could tell. It's so cool. Oh, my arm is there. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get you out of this tree because you're gonna fall this way, well, I reckon. What's behind me? Nothing. Just oh, looseness. I, look, I've got a lot of traction. I can take off. Maybe just a little push. Do you want me to just drag your front wheel out? Yeah, I should just drag it. Myself. You know what I mean? Okay, one second. Are you just gonna go for it? Yep. And I'm well, we're not quite at the top, but this is counted as doing it because the steep bits are done. Um, Josh is ahead of me, he's done really well. And Josh Osmodo, I'm not sure yet, but I suspect he may have headed back down because I can't hear him coming up. Josh is filming his drone, he made it. I told you you could do it. And now look at your bloody smile on your face, you grumpy bastard. <laughs> no, good. Um, Josh was motivated. I feel like he's gone back down because he was done, but he only had 200 meters to go. So I don't know if he's pushing or not. He said just to go. Hey. Mate, are you coming? Nah, man, I, um, I had a bad off. I'm all right though. Um, and I'm just, I am gone, dude. I'm so fatigued. Have you had it down already? I've 
turned the bike around. I fucking, I had a bad afternoon. Yeah. I'm fucking bleeding from my face because... Oh! Fucking, no, I'm an idiot. I took off my goggles and... Because I, I was just fogging up and then I ran into a branch. I'm fucking lucky, dude. Well, mate, you do realise if that's... I can hear you guys. Mate, you're only 200 metres from the top. I know, man. My foot... I hurt my foot. It's fine. Okay. I can feel it's been crushed a bit. Oh. So I'm cut. I'm cutting... I'm counting my luck. Now bring the drone down to me. Look at my face. Go down to him and look at his face of the drone. My, my camera's broken. My my microphone's. Ah, uh, do you want me to come down? Nah, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna come. I'm gonna. I've got the bike pointing the right way. I'm gonna make my down slowly. My way down slowly. I can't believe how close I am. But I, I I'd be silly to continue. I fucked everything. I'll come and push you if you want. Nah. Man. Okay. Nah. I'll live to fight another day. Okay. Josh and I are now continuing as a duo. Um, that was always a plan as of this morning, regardless of the Billy Goat bluff outcome. Uh, Josh Osmoto, brother, um, you sounded pretty pretty worked up over the phone. I hope you're okay and I hope you get down safely, but I, uh, I totally get your reasons behind it. I tell you what, after meeting Josh in Cape York and now this trip, after seeing all of his videos on his channel and all my videos, I tell you what, it's an absolute privilege and an honour to be an owner and a rider of such a bike, a DRZ400E. Um, these two bikes have been through hell and back, and I think we've showcased it, and I think we've showcased perfectly the capabilities, the durability. Yeah, mine's had a few issues, Josh has had a few issues, but ultimately, we've both got more than 30,000 kilometres on the clock, and um, it just shows basic technology, 20 plus year old bike, and it, it's getting it done. I'm so happy to be an owner of a DRZ. Um, real awesome, awesome vehicle in my opinion. We're just about to approach McMichael's Hut, which was our intended uh, night two campground, um, which puts us about a half a day behind, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, of all the issues we've had, um, it's pretty bloody good. Um, and instead of a camp, it's now going to be lunch location for day number three pretty camp. here we go got a picnic bench yeah it would have been pretty cool to camp here but it's all right take a nice little photo of this yeah it's looking pretty good isn't it let's have a look oh, that would have been premium Jacket too, if you get cold. Oh, yeah. Bit of olive oil. Could have put it in our dehydrated meal. It's actually quite warm in here, isn't it? It is, it's There you go. So, McMichael's Hut, this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What did they say the other one was? Oh, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear either. I just said, yep, okay. Yeah, I think they want us to go. <laughs> the other one's heat's better, rack right off. Oh, well, if anyone's following this route, because Josh and I will be uploading it, if you can get ahead of time, um, day two, if you get up Billy Goat's Bluff quick enough, it's a real easy cruise to McMichael's Hut. Um, you've got a fire pit, you've got running water, so very ideal for, for camping if you're fortunate enough to get this far. Awesome stuff. So we've just pulled onto Dingo Hill Track. And from my understanding, this leads into the Caledonia River track or something along those lines. And that track was actually selected by Josh Osmoto, because obviously um, he might be doing this track in return. I don't know how he's going to go for the rest of his day. But yeah, he said it's um, pretty full on, a fair few river crossings. Oh, beautiful waterway down there, a couple of four drives camping. Been a pleasure of a track so far. I know it's going to get harder, but happy to take an easier out every now and again. Wow. We're back into the steep descents. You can only assume we're approaching the Caledonia River track um, as we're leaving 
a high spot and descending very fast. It's a bit loose his track. How's Josh going? Oh, he's down there. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go on the high side. This is no joke of a descent. It's actually getting steeper and steeper. Wowee. I'd hate to see this track in a bad condition because I reckon it'll be a pretty tough climb out. Oh, wow, wow. I'll have to drag the rear wheel for this one. Just take my time. Reset. Whew. This is bad. Hold it. Yep, yep, yep. Good work. It's full on. It'll be a pretty tough climb out of this. <sighs> tough, eh? It just keeps on going there. Yeah. You can sort of see the bottom. You can see the other way. It's the same thing. It zigzags. So at least we can break it up in sections. Um, it has these little points yeah 100% yeah yep. I just the only thing I could wish today wasn't it wasn't as hot yeah. maybe just that I don't know six or seven yeah. degrees colder yeah just gotta be mindful of the brakes and whatnot but <laughs> yeah the switchbacks help big time just let my rear wheel drag it's just so slippery. We're at the bottom though. Whew. That was full on. Oh my goodness, Josh is doing it way easier than me. He's got his confidence back. Look at that, like a pro. He loves the downhills. He love a downhill, eh? Hey. You're doing good. Oh, some bigger rocks in here. Ooh. Slipper. <laughs> Ooh. It's the big river pebbles, they just fray you around. Good work. Another crossing. Oh, it looks a bit slippery. Um, I was just about to say this track is um, this one and a mixture of the haunted stream track it's just phenomenal that this stuff's out here all these river crossings um riding under the canopy here it's um pretty much cape york minus the sand and the heat really really enjoyable stuff right next to your riding buddy plenty of water to stop and jump in if you need to access to drinking water if you need to fantastic Oh, that might become deep. Oh. No. That doesn't look fun. Oh, he's through. And now he's made the water all dirty for me. Yep. 
Yeah, Josh's way does look good. Gee, you made that look hard. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a bigger body, more momentum. Yeah. Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday? I didn't even know I had a look. I was just about to say I want to stop because my bike is spluttering around. Is it? That's not good down here. I um I don't know what happened guys but I uh we're probably riding too close together and I've washed out uh somersault and I've whacked my head and Josh I think kicked me in the head and now I don't know if I'm like concussed or something, my head feels weird. Just a silly mistake but do you reckon I hit the ground pretty hard? Yeah definitely. My neck's a bit sore but your front washed out that way and then you just went bang over the water. Oh no, my my zip tie. We were pretty much side by side when you went down. What happened? My zip tie design broke. So did mine. Want to sit here for a couple minutes or? Nah. Oh, took a hard hit, Freddy. Well, you wouldn't be happy about seeing your son do that, that's for sure. <laughs> it was definitely a hard hit because I just feel, my whole body just feels like it's had a major impact. Hey? I said my whole body just feels like it's rather than rolling and somersaulting, it just feels like a boom. Yeah, you did. You and know, then stop. Like the bike went that way. Mm. You were just on it for the ride and like. Yeah. So, um, I ended up taking off and my handlebars were all over the shop, but I, um, I had pretty badly twisted up triple clamps, so I just loosened them on a bolt, straightened them up, so hopefully that's okay. Um, I don't think I'm concussed, but, uh, fuck. I feel funny, like I'm a bit wobbly on the feet. Not wobbly, but just not 100%. But I'll just take it so and see what happens to the body. I can feel all my limbs. I know what day it is, so... Whew. Guess, mate. <laughs> okay, I do feel funny though, eh? But yeah. It's a bit of a deep one, this one. Um, you would want to stop, but... Just got to punch through it. It'll be alright. Yeah, beautiful Josh. Good work. I'm definitely riding slower at the moment. Um, I think I'm okay overall, a bit of a headache. But it's certainly not a confidence thing. I just don't feel quite as snappy in my decision making. Not like so bad I shouldn't continue on or anything like that, but certainly not feeling like my usual self. Hopefully a, a night's sleep that dissipates because we've got some pretty big terrain that we're stuck in that we have to conquer still to, to get out safely but um, yeah I'll just take it slower so I can make the right decisions on the bike that are presented to me on the track <clears throat> we've just climbed out of Caledonia track I'm not sure if we're still on it but we've definitely climbed out of the valley and um, pretty steep climb but after Billy Goat obviously nothing too full on but if that was the first hill climb off the ride you'd be like Walzers um, but now we're progressing towards Craig's hut um, not sure on which tracks yet but just want to get a little bit higher get some reception and see if we can reroute ooh, see if we can reroute ourselves to go and get to Craig's hut a little bit quicker um, because we've had a pretty full on day You know what this reminds me of? What? Up in Cape York, that um... Oh, Black Mountain. Black Mountain. Oh, cause it's all over there too. Yeah. Take away the trees. It's exactly what you got. Right. You reckon, what's well, crazy? I was like, it looks like they've been put there. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just landslide over time. Or is it every time they're up on a higher track, all the leftover rocks, they just dump and dump. Cause they wouldn't get a machine in there to do that, really. No. Well, if anyone knows why these random rocks are here, what, what road are we on? Oh, this is King Billy Track, apparently. King Billy Track? Um, please inform Josh and I in the comments why I was just piles of these rocks, but very strategically placed, I would say. Yeah. Almost like it was on purpose. Huh, pretty cool. Whilst I'm going down King Billy Track, this is super, super rocky. I'm starting to get into some smoother sections. 
I've been talking to both Josh's about my suspension and I feel like it doesn't work anymore. Um, it feels like an old car just shuddering over corrugations rather than absorbing anything. And it only really shows itself not working on a track like this where I really feel like the suspension's not absorbing anything. It's fine on the bigger things, but um, I haven't done anything with my suspension for six straight years. So I've done 20, ooh, probably 28,000 kilometers on the same suspension, same springs, same oil. And I don't think that's ideal at all. Um, so in saying that, Sally needs new suspension. And if anyone wants to help me out there, if anyone knows anyone wants to give me a product to test, I will do it. Come on, bike. We're just climbing out of King Billy. Um, it's not hard, but these rocks fared income. It really makes it unenjoyable to be honest, that's probably the word for it. Not hard, just unenjoyable. It just rattles the bikes to bit, your luggage gets tested, I mean it's a good way to test your setup, don't get me wrong. Um, just rock, rock, rock. Still bloody climbing out of King Billy track. Um, these rocks, fed income. I, to be honest, prefer to be doing Billy Goat right now. I don't know why I'm hating on this track. Like, probably because it's at the end of the day bit tired just want to lay down but sorry truck I'm just not liking you as simple as that all right guys um, we're gonna call it the end of night three here at the top of King Billy track we found this nice grass area um, we need to give the bike some love we need to give ourselves a bunch of food we're 41 kilometers from Craig's hut but I don't think the trails are hard for us to accomplish but we're just going slow and we're both tired that crash I had shook me up Josh is still beat up from the last few days so we're going to make a call we're going to utilize the beautiful views we'll set up camp I'll show you what that looks like and um, we've also got 4G reception up here so I can call the family which is always nice to do at the end of the night we got a little bit of firewood so um, that's the go well Josh <laughs> Day number three, night number three. Yep. We've definitely bitten off more than we thought we could handle in terms of distances. Yeah, we're still doing all the hardcore tracks, but we're definitely we're behind. Pro we're probably 250 odd kilometers behind where yeah. we thought we'd be. But we've got a fantastic campground. I feel pretty happy we stopped here. Um, what do you reckon the highlight was today for you? <laughs> was it conquering Billy Gate or not? Yeah, it had to be. Because I did not think I'd get there, man. I started terribly yeah dropped the bike 100 meters in yeah and it only got worse from there so i was uh not confident but got there in the end so i was pretty happy to get there yeah i saw um josh when he was stopped and um dropped the bike early and i was so worried I was like oh we're only kind of just started but then he his riding ability got better and better and he really smoked it up there um everyone has a couple of drops so who cares um i think my highlight was really caledon Cala yeah, Caledonia track. River track. That was actually, apart from my big crash there, where I thought I was concussed for a while, I feel pretty good now. That was an awesome track. Yeah, it was good. Similar to the Haunted Stream. Yeah, a bit more not, extreme maybe. Not as many crossings, yeah. yeah. I reckon, what, 15, 20 crossings still? Yeah, it was a fifth, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty tough day. So I think today for me, I copped the flogging. Josh has copped the flogging the last two days. And um, I was pretty worried that I was concussed, but I think I'm not. I think I just got a <laughs> stiff neck. I think you definitely were to start with because you weren't yourself. You yeah. Were, I couldn't ride good. Yeah, you're, and I was slow, eh? I was just going slow. Yeah. I didn't want to stand up. Mm -hmm. 
I'm pretty convinced Josh ran over my head. He's saying he didn't, but neither of us have got footage of what hit my head. But it certainly wasn't the ground. It was either a foot, maybe a peg, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, I'm here and um, we've both made it, mate, at the top of... Oh, that's my alarm. What's that for? Food. Oh, the food. Um, but anyway, guys, it's, it's been a great day. The track has been... The route's been epic, hardcore, mm-hmm, but we're, hardcore. Get, we're getting it done. And the bikes, they've had a few little hiccups here and there, but they're going. They're just getting the job done, and they're, they're working so hard. But both DRZs in the background, and um, what, a, what a great bike. But anyway, that's us. Um, we'll catch you on morning four. See you later. Ooh.